This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. We had another comment this week, and this guy said, I'm always the one who always texts her first. So I pulled away to see if she would reciprocate back, but no. And uh, could it mean something different because she's from the Caribbean or, or does that matter? So this is one of those things that a guy's coming in with an excuse as to why this woman's not trying to text him. Oh, it's because she's Caribbean or, oh, it's because she's gone through a hard time or, oh, her family like this is not. Look, guys, I, I really want to stress to you, when women like you, they help you and they will do everything possible to let you know that they want to spend time with you. And when women don't like you, or let's not say don't like, when women have a low interest in getting with you, that's when you're going to have the most problems. That's when you're going to get the so-called mixed signals. And I, by the way, guys, spoiler, mixed signals is not a thing. It's a thing that guys made up or things people made up in general when they want something and they think it wants them back, but then it, they're not quite getting the response that they want in a, in a fast enough amount of time. So they think, oh, it's not that they don't want me. It's that it must be mixed signals. But here's my thing. If mixed signals equals you not getting a date, then it's still a no. Rarely, rarely, rarely are mixed signals going to be things that are going to result in a woman deciding, oh, you know what? They're not mixed anymore. I now want him. So this thing of, oh, I'm always texting first, but she's not texting me. She's not reciprocating texting. It's because she's not interested. Like, I wish I could make that answer longer, but she's not interested because women that like you would text you back. But more to the point also, this really gets more so into the idea that he says, I'm always the one that's texting first. Why is he texting her? Because unless he's texting her to get dates specifically, then he is wasting his time and her time trying to do all this extra texting. But I can imagine this is one of those guys that's like, but I send a good morning text every morning and she doesn't send me one. Or I ask her about her day and she doesn't text me and ask me about my day because she doesn't want to do that. Like women want to save most of the conversation for like in person. Now, some guys will hear that and think, but Harry, women are on their phones all the time talking to their family and talking to their, you know, other people that they're close to. Why wouldn't she text me? One, she's not dating all those people. But number two, those people have been in her life for a while. So there, there's, there's no, there's no exercise she has to go through of having her brain convince her that she wants to be around these other people. It's already done that. But for you being new stimuli, her brain hasn't done that yet. So her brain needs to go through the exercise of deciding if she wants to choose you. And every time you text her first, you're taking away from the exercise she needs to do of thinking, huh, let me reach out to him. I can guarantee you this guy probably had a shot. There was probably a point in time when they maybe went on a date or something like that. And so she was at home thinking about him like, oh, that great date was so great. Oh, my God. Like, I had a great time with him. I, I can't wait to see him. And then as soon as she's thinking that, what is it? she sees she, come, come through her phone? Oh, he's texting me right now. Huh? So now you've done interrupted her thought process where she can think about you and decide out of her own accord, based on her experiences with you, that she really wants to spend more time with you. Because what you're doing by texting her nonstop is forcing her to talk to you. You're forcing her to have communication. You're basically saying, hey, talk to me now. I'm in front of you. Please respond back. And that kind of energy, sorry to say it, guys, but not really. That kind of energy is not attractive to women. So what this guy should have done from the beginning is not be texting her all the time. He should have waited until he's ready to ask her for a date. And then if she only responded when he reached out to her, that'd be fine because he's only reaching out to her to get dates. And women of their own accord, as they get to like you more, will text you on the days that you're not trying to text them for dates. It really is that simple. But as guys, we make it hard. But suffice to say, Stop making excuses. Oh, she came from this kind of background or she was dealt with this with her ex. Or, oh, she's going through stuff in school and therefore blah, 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 blah. The bottom line is always, always, always. If she likes you, she helps you. And if she don't, she won't. So if you find that you're not getting the responses you want, first check how often you're texting and curtail that way back. But also, also look for, is she constantly flaking on dates? Is she always saying, oh, I'll get back to you and then she doesn't do it? Is she, oh, I meant to invite you someplace, but then it didn't happen. Those are all not mixed signals. Those are all indicators that she has low interest. She doesn't know how to verbalize that to you. And so she's giving you breadcrumbs to, to put hope on. And that hope has been long gone. 
just long gone. So just let's just put that out. Just stop making excuses for women. I know we our ego is trying to think of logical reasons why a woman that said that she liked us at one point is suddenly showing low interest. Happens all the time. You're not going to change these women's minds. And especially you're not going to do it by being in her presence all the time. So just know what it is and back off. So hopefully, guy, that answers your question.